Hello, hello. So today we're going to be doing Instagram Fix My Makeup a few weeks back, a few days back. I don't know. Time is kind of all blending together. Um, I asked my Instagram followers through polls on Instagram stories what makeup I should pick for a... Actually, I didn't... I don't think I described what I was doing. I think I just had them pick. Um, and all the pictures were in black and white, so they didn't even know what they were picking unless they were like super detectives or something um but so that's gonna be this video i'm gonna put on what they picked so before we get into it make sure you're subscribed before you leave and give this video a thumbs up it helps me out and then you can follow me on my makeup related instagram all that stuff is always down below let's dive right in so for eyeshadow palettes i gave them two options the amrezy palette and the pixie um natural beauty eyeshadow palette and the polls came in 60 percent chose the pixie product so i'm going to use that today i'm going to do a simple look um this is like not like a crazy colorful palette or anything so it shouldn't be hard to do a simple look but first i'm just going to take this matte like kind of cream shade and just coat my brush in the shade and set just like as a base I just want this white I haven't put any product or anything down um, I just want this kind of like cream base hmm. I'm gonna take this guy right here oh and the shades are on the back so what's that one the cream one I think was called sheer sand and the second one I'm using is called rose clay I'm gonna use the same brush and just dip into that color put that in the crease a little bit okay then I'm gonna use um this dark brown guy right here and put that on the outer portion into the crease a little bit yeah not nothing crazy okay and then I'm gonna take this shade this one right here, which is Metal Mauve. This one's a beautiful shade. I really, really like this one. So I'm gonna tap that all over my lid. Okay, so for eyeliner, I gave four choices and I put like a purple liner in there too, just to see what would happen. I put a purple, a dark brown, a green and olive green and then a brown liquid so there's only one liquid um and instagram chose this dark brown pencil eyeliner by jante blue so we're just gonna line the eyes lightly with this i'm keeping it mostly on the out second half of my eye and just like creating a little bit of almost like definition i don't know Next, I'm going to pick primer. So I put in the Tarte uh, Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And then I also put in the Glassy um, Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm by Touch and Soul. And Touch and Soul won. So I'm going to just slather that on my face. I really haven't... Uh, can I get it open? I really haven't given this um, all that much love. Um, I've tried it like once maybe? I don't, I don't know. But it's supposed to make your skin really dewy, so that kind of freaks me out because, you know, I have, like, oily, combo oily skin. Oh, did, I didn't realize it had a smell or a scent. The next thing is foundation, so I put a stick and a liquid. Um, the Vanish Liquid, or the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. Uh, you guys chose the Vanish, um, yeah. By, by only like a hair, the Vanish thick was, I mean the Vanish um, foundation was chosen. So this is in the shade Porcelain. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. And I'm just going to grab a brush to apply. I haven't used this in a while. I feel like I've used it like a couple months ago maybe, but not very recently. Okay, so I think that's all blended out. And I used a brush to apply it, but then obviously I went over it with a sponge because it's just like, it's a, it's a very, I think it's pretty full coverage, if I recall correctly, slash I'm wearing it on my face right now. Okay, the next step is concealer, and let's see what one. So I put in a pot concealer, which was the NARS Soft Matte Cream, Soft Matte, Soft Matte Complete Concealer, um, and this is in the shade Light 1. 
And I put in this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and the e.l.f. 1 1. So this is in the shade light peach. So I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to bring it under my eyes. This is light. Um, wow, that's really light, right? Looks really, really light. I'm just going to put the excess like elsewhere um, because this just feels like I put on a lot of product. <laughs> really bright and love these under eyes. <laughs> I don't know if you can, I always say that stuff and then I go and I look at the footage and it's not as bad as like I'm seeing, um, either in my viewfinder or like in person. I'm just going to bring the face forward, I guess. All right. Next up was powder. Um, so I chose the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder or the It Cosmetics Pore Fesh or Bye Bye Pores, <laughs> uh, pressed powder. And you chose the loose powder. So I'm going to be setting my face with that. I haven't used this in a while either. Oh, okay. Okay, so for bronzer, um, I gave you the option of the e.l.f. bronzer or the Ofra bronzer, and you chose the e.l.f. And this is in the shade Forever Sunkiss. I believe this is their primer infused one. I'm just gonna add some color back to this ghostly complexion. Okay, and for blush, I chose the All Natural shade. It's the cream lipstick in the shade Grapefruit or the Pixie by Petra um, Peach Parfait blush. So this one got a 50-50 vote. So I just I guess I'll use both. <laughs> um, but I already set my face, so I'm going to go in with the cream first. And I'll just kind of grab some with this brush and then just... Stamp it. I like this blush. I think it looks really pretty. I'll go in a little bit with the pixie one. This one, it, it's there. They were a little bit similar in color, not like super duper similar. And I believe this one has a little bit of sheen to it. And then I'm gonna blend this out because I feel like there's a lot going on. Okay. And for highlighter, um, you had the choice of the model's own highlighter which is like kind of like a pinky hue, or this Kevin Aquan one, which was like pink to purple. So I thought that would be interesting to see if you chose that, but you actually chose this one. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit and highlight the high point. So far, I mean, everything like goes together, which is nice because, you know, you don't want like a really bad look. I'm probably actually gonna film a video after this, so. I haven't used this in so long, this highlighter. It's really pretty. I forget who like made me buy it. Someone made me buy it. Like YouTube or something? I'm not sure. I don't remember if it was on Instagram or YouTube. And now we'll move on to lips. So I actually gave some lip liner options and I gave four options and one was like kind of like a mauve like a dark mauve shade. One was like a, oh my God, actually they're very similar. <laughs> Oops. Um, I think this one's lighter though. This was like a bright red and then this is a deep purple So I just kind of wanted to see what would happen, but you guys actually chose my well I think this is my favorite one. Um, this is the house labs lip liner. This is in the shade myth So I'm gonna just line my lips quickly with this Okay, and then lip stick or lip gloss Okay, so lips is where it's going to get a little interesting. Um, I gave the most options for lips. I gave five. Um, I put in this blue sparkly gloss. I put in a nude. This was like the only like, you know, if I, it, right now if I put this on, it'll be a completed look and everything's fine. It doesn't look like anything bad happened. You know what I mean? Um, I put this deep like blood red in and then these two bright, like this one's like a coral and this one's more like a red orange so you chose the dark deep red like blood red shade from house so it's funny because i'm using the lip liner and this liquid lip or like it's like a gloss really so i don't know if i've used this since i've gotten these but it's kind of like a deep purple red color i use the the other one that matches like this lip liner all the time I don't think it actually is going to look that bad. It's just funny that this one's the one that was chosen. I 
actually don't think that looks bad at all. This color isn't my favorite. Um, it is a little patchy to me, but I mean, okay. I don't mind that. Okay, and then the final step is actually mascara because I didn't put any brow choices in here. I don't know why. Um, so we are going to use either the J. Kissa and Elf collab, which is a brown mascara, or this pure big look Argon Oil mascara, which is black, and you chose the brown mascara. So I'm just gonna pop this on really quickly. And I rarely use this mascara. I think it's pretty. I just prefer black. I really like this lip color. I don't know, something about it. It's making me real sassy. Okay, so this is the completed look. I don't think it turned out badly at all. Yeah, I don't know, I think it looks really good. Except for, you know, I mean the lips a little much, but I think it's really pretty. I may have overdid it, did it on the blush. <laughs> So I guess that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and like this video if you enjoyed it and you made it this far. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.